The Pompano Beach coastline is blessed with many attributes which make it a boating, fishing, and diving paradise. The natural reef system, which is in close proximity to the nurturing waters of the Gulf Stream, provides a seemingly inexhaustible supply of marine life. This area is very accessible to boating enthusiasts due to the combination of deep, easily navigated waters close to shore and a protected inlet. These natural elements produce a fishing hotspot which spawned an economy based on fishing and tourism. In 1965, the Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo was founded as an outgrowth of this economy. The original goal of the rodeo was to extend the winter tourism season into May to stimulate fishing and tourist-related industries. The tournament prospered and grew into the largest and most popular event of its kind in South Florida, with hundreds of boats and anglers participating annually. Of course, this popularity added to the already heavy pressure on the fishing grounds off Pompano Beach. More significantly, environmental degradation related to population growth began to decimate the natural reef system. The formerly prolific fisheries of this area began to decline. The Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo decided that it was time to increase its already formidable conservation efforts by developing an artificial reef plan. In 1983, the Army Corps of Engineers issued the first permit ever to a fishing tournament for the construction and maintenance of an artificial reef site. The site chosen was southeast of Hillsboro Inlet in an area characterized by a barren sandy bottom. From that day forward, the primary objective of the Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo was to improve the fishery off its shore by sinking ships that would attract fish and provide habitat for marine life to spawn and flourish. In partnership with Broward County's Department of Natural Resource Protection and major corporations, the Fishing Rodeo has sunk reefs funded in part by recreational fishing tax dollars from the state and federal governments. These sunken ships act as seeds upon which algae and coral thrive, providing food and protective housing for bait fish, juvenile fish, crustaceans, corals, sponges, and game fish. The benefits to the local economy are enormous, estimated to be in excess of $2.5 million annually. Fishing, diving, and tourism are flourishing. The Papano Beach Fishing Rodeo Committee, its sponsors, and the thousands of anglers who have competed in the tournament share in the success of this artificial reef program. Since 1984, 24 reefs have been sunk for future generations of fishermen. It's been a lot of hard work, but mostly, it's been a blast. Fish from America, Buddy Merritt, Johnny Two. 1985. Oh, Boating Magazine. What the five? Dan Gershaw. Bud Crowley. 1987. Fred Seymour. Miller Light. 7. 1988. Chris. 1989. 12. Rodeo Renegade. There's a lot of uh, bottom fishing opportunities around artificial reefs. You find uh, a number of species of artificials. Ronald T. John. 23. Chevron. 25. 1997. Guy Harvey. Dr. Guy Harvey. and generosity of this year's artificial reef sponsor, Dr. Guy Harvey. The Pompano Beach Fishing Rodeo's 25th artificial reef will be sunk on April 26th. Please join Guy and the Fishing Rodeo Committee in the celebration of this event. Trust us, it will be a blast!